sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Prophet Daniel did We humble ourselves To seek your face To pray for the church And the whole world We confess our sins And our unfaithfulness We trust in your unfailing Mercy. With mourning and weeping, we run back to you. O oh Lord, hear, O oh Lord, forgive, delay not to say. Let your mercy descend upon us, O oh loving Jesus. Let your care and protection descend upon each and every single person, O oh loving Lord. With a lot of sentiments of gratitude, 
we come to you o oh lord yet another day for blessing your holy name for extolling your mighty mighty name o oh lord you said us in the book of prophet jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 call to me i will answer you i will do greater things which you have never even imagined call to me i will answer you o oh, loving father in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus we call to you for thanking you for receiving your blessings in the book of prophet habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 and 18 we read though the fig tree does not blossom and no fruit is on the vines though the produce of the olive fails and the fields yield no food though the flock is cut off from the fold and there is no herd in the stalls yet i will rejoice in the lord i will exult the god of my salvation because god is my strength oh loving jesus there are days when we simply have to make a choice to make forward in faith not knowing what tomorrow holds for us but the good news is we know who holds tomorrow and that same god will never leave us never forsake us oh loving jesus we have been started this spiritual journey since last two or three weeks we have placed many intentions many petitions and we thank thanked you many times yet some would say why god seem to be silent god seem to be silent for my prayers why god's mercy descend upon my family my relationships my physical sickness my mental difficulty with confidence and inspired by the word of god jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 once again today our oh loving jesus we call upon you we call to you o oh lord jesus come to our life come to our family take control over all the activities of our life we know that you are the one who hold tomorrow since you are the god of yesterday today and tomorrow you will never forsake us you will come with your healing and deliverance today in a very special way we pray for people who are struggling with different kinds of addictions drug addictions in some way involving in different kinds of gangs including trapped in 
people who are trapped in gay gangs homosexuals people who are really struggling for them to get out of such traps or lot we give all of them to you among them we find our own children people who do not know how to pray to the lord we find people who have no affiliation to any kinds of religions or philosophies oh lord we give all of them to you jesus bless us bless our children break all kinds of addictions we are in right now take control over our lives hear our prayers oh lord we place all of them to you bless them anoint them make them free we thank you oh lord we praise you oh lord your healing pour out your healing pour out your healing on me pour out your healing pour out your healing pour out your healing on me pour out your healing pour out your healing Pour out your healing on me, oh Jesus. Pour out your healing. Pour out your healing. Pour out your healing on me. Pour out your healing on me, oh Jesus. Pour out your healing. book of prophet zechariah chapter 13 verse 1 we read on that day a fountain shall be opened for the house of david and the inhabitants of jerusalem to cleanse them from sin and impurity o loving jesus we have received hundreds of prayer requests seeking your mercy especially from people who are suffering from different kinds of cancer people are really really suffering oh lord they do not know how to bear with this some are depressed no medications are seem to be available for them for their for their healing lord we place all of them to you set your mighty hand upon them together with the glorious intercession of saint peregrine the patron saint for all the cancer patients we place them all of them to you oh lord bless them anoint them make them free oh lord let every child of god who attend this session might experience the presence of healing in their body take away all impurities o god of israel o god of our david bless our children bless your people anoint them thank you for your blessing we believe that you heard our prayers we believe that you answer our prayers touch us oh lord heal us oh lord make us renew us the 
Lord, my healer. You send your word and you heal my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. restore your health you are the Lord who restores our health our mental health our spiritual health our physical health oh Jesus Jesus son of David have mercy on our children. Oh Jesus, son of David, have mercy on people who are suffering from depression, people who are suffering from different kinds of ailments for which no medications are available. Bless them, oh Lord Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, bless us. Release your holy, mighty power from the holy, blessed sacrament. The very moment our people approach you, Lord, we believe that you listen to us. You hear us because in the book of prophet Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 24, we read, before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. Before your people call, you will answer. Jesus, bless our people. Bless our people. Break all our chains we are in. Make them free as you delivered your people, your chosen ones. The Old Testament. In the same way, deliver our people from all kinds of satanic involvement, O Lord. Make us free so that we may worship you in truth and spirit. Oh, we love you. We thank you. We pray. Forgiveness 
kindness sets in and your kindness leads me now oh mercy jesus son of god oh mercy shine shall listen a passage from the holy scripture a reading from the book of prophet daniel chapter 12 verses 1 through 4 at that time michael the great prince the protector of your people shall arise there shall be a time of anguish such as has never occurred since nations first came into existence but at that time your people shall be delivered every one who is found written in the book many those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the sky and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever but you daniel keep the words secret and the book sealed until the time of the end many shall be running back and forth and evil shall increase the word of the lord thanks be to god my dear brothers and sisters one of the important promises of the holy scripture that prophet daniel wants to share with us is you shall be delivered you will resurrect and enter and will enter into everlasting life this is an assurance that we all receive when we lift our hearts to the lord you know resurrection of the lord gives us three important insights deliverance from the past number 1 number 2 power to the present and number 3 hope for the future deliverance from the past power to the present and hope for the future we are delivered to live a meaningful life in the present and expecting a great future this is a gift that our loving father has offered to all of us 1 john chapter 3 words 1 we see see what love the father has given us that we should be called the children of god that is what we are this may be the greatest revelation of our loving jesus our god is our father in no religion no philosophy you will find something like this Jesus introduced God as our loving father. There is no better name than to call God by our father. When the disciples asked Jesus to teach them how they have to pray, Jesus taught the prayer, our father in heaven. 
the very moment you address god by a father we all become sons and daughters all the 7 billion people living at the moment in the world are our brothers and sisters no matter which community or religion they belong to no matter whether they believe in god or not they are addicted and uh, they are under some captivity or not all are our brothers and sisters the people of israel were slaves in egypt but god delivered them for making them know that they are the children of god as long as you have a sense of a slave you develop a slave mentality but mind you we need to make a shift from slave mentality into a son or a daughter mentality shake off that slave mentality and develop a son mentality or a daughter mentality the very moment you call god a loving father what belongs to my father belongs to me as well i have an inheritance i'm no longer a slave but a son and a daughter i have a i am a child of the most high god this realization would help you to talk to the lord differently try to say to the lord lord i call you i call you by calling you father i have an inheritance as a son and a daughter so you must address your sickness your failures your addictions and say to them you have no no role in my life because i belong to my heavenly father i'm a child of god you have no no power over me the spirit will guide you to claim that you are a child of god but the evil spirit always tell you no you are a slave you are a slave that always reminds you about your past this is very important that you may have addiction but that addiction does not own you you are not an addict trying to get freed but you are a free person trying to fighting addiction god not only free you from the slavery but destroy the oppressor the enemy has no power over you satan cannot understand the economy of grace so through the power of the grace you will conquer all kinds of evil things that follows you you are born to a family of god you are created for eternity so pray to the lord lord help me to awake from the dust help me by sending your holy angels so that i may be able to free myself from the difficult situations i am in right now help me for me to resurrect in this life itself so that i will enjoy the resurrection the real resurrection that you keep me for after my death let us turn to the lord and address him father my father god is my father 
no demonic powers have any role in my life in my family no failure can destroy me no sickness can destroy me no division in in my family can destroy me i belong to my father i belong to my lord i'm a member in the family of god jesus bless us anoint us take control over our lives i request you to take rosary or cross now we shall make the deliverance and the prayers of healing in the name of jesus christ our lord and god with confidence in the intercession of the virgin mary mother of god of blessed michael the archangel of the holy apostles peter and paul and all saints and with assurance in the sacred power of our ministry we steadfastly proceed with the task of expelling the molestations of the devil's fraud god arises his enemies are scattered and those who hate him flee before him as mock is driven away so are they driven as wax melts before the fire so the wicked perish at the presence of god we lift our hands and say see the cross of the lord be gone you hostile powers the step of david the line of judah's tribe has conquered we drive you from us whoever you may be unclean spirits spirits of death infirmity despair confusion division anxiety fear anger hatred lust sloth and pride all satanic powers all infernal invaders all the collegians assemblies and sex in the name and by the power of our lord jesus christ in the name and by the power of our lord jesus christ in the name and by the power of our lord jesus christ most cunning serpent the most to high god commands you god the son commands you god the holy ghost commands you christ god's word made flesh commands you the glorious mother of god the virgin mary commands you the faith of the holy apostles peter and paul and of all the apostles commands you the blood of the martyrs and the pious intercession of all the saints commands you thus curse the dragon and you diabolic legions we adjure you by the power of the living god by the true god by the holy god by the god who so loved the world that he gave up his only son that every soul believe in him might not perish but have everlasting life stop deceiving human creatures and pouring out to them the poison of eternal damnation stop harming the church and hindering her liberty now we shall repeat that word what is satana meaning be gone satan for 12 times when we keep saying this word you will hear the ringing of bells please say after me this word for 12 times what is satana 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 
Wade Satana. 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 Inventor and master of all deceit. Enemy to human salvation. Give place to Christ in whom you have found none of your works. Give place to the one holy Catholic and apostolic church, acquired by Christ at the price of his blood. Do beneath the all-powerful hand of God, tremble and flee when we invoke the holy and terrible name of Jesus. This name which causes hell to tremble, this name to which the virtues, powers and dominions of heaven are humbly submissive, this name which the cherubim and seraphim praise unceasingly repeating, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord, the God of our maids. our chains, heal our hearts, set us free, O Lord. Send your angels and saints to battle for us, let your kingdom arise, O Lord. Break our chains, heal our hearts, set Your kingdom arise, O Lord, O Lord, hear, O Lord, forgive, delay not to save us. Let your mercy descend upon us, humbly we cry out to you. Let your mercy descend upon us, humbly we cry out to you. Humbly we cry out to you. Let your kingdom arise, O Rain. 